Son, I'm ready for you. Please read. We're going to read about faith and works, which is in chapter 2 of James, the epistle general of James. In the past few days, we read about victory. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. We read about faith. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all men liberally. We read about humility. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. We read about endurance. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. We read about God's goodness. Every good gift and every perfect gift is... Um, precious? From above. Oh. And comes down from the Father of lights, <laughs> with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Do you know, I think the earth turns and that the sun is shining on it. And so, and if this is the sun, mm -hmm. this is the earth, mm -hmm. this side has what? Light. Right. And there is darkness on the other side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as it turns. Basic science. However, Perfect. with God, it's there's only light. There is no darkness. But that could also mean that there is only goodness. There is no evil in it. Mm -hmm. We read about Christian living. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear what? The Lord's word. The word of, God. word of God. Slow to speak, slow to murmur, slow to complain. So slow to get angry. And slow to wrath. What is wrath? Wrath. Anger. Amen. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Right. All right. So now please continue to read chapter two. We also read brotherly love. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. What? What did I just read? Well, this talks about in, in paragraph 2. For if there come unto you a, your assembly a man with a gold ring in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment. Be not deceived, all right? Why? Both of them are sent by God, perhaps, or maybe neither. All right, come on, man. Faith and works. Get on with it. Chapter 2, Faith and Works. Um, this is very long. Just start. It's a whole page. Start. And the half. What? Start. For Let's get it for the day of the day. Muy amable, muchas gracias. Pongas aquí para que no moje la silla. Muy bien. For whosoever shall be empezar a perra rascando la vela. For whosoever, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and Our brother in Christ is joining us, my is son. No? Are oh, we just passing through? All right, louder, son. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he who said do not commit adultery said also do not kill now if you commit no adultery yet if you kill you are become a transgressor of the law so speak ye and so do as they who shall be judged by the law of liberty for he shall have judgment without mercy who has shown no mercy and mercy rejoins against judgment what does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he has faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and distribute a daily food, 
and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding you give them not those things which are need needful to the body, what does it profit? This is being like weird. All right, let me read it. It talks for you. I've heard this before. It's hard to read. Faith and works. Do you believe there's a God? Yes. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Do you live as if you believe there's a God? Yes. You know what the day of judgment is? Yes, your death day. Your death day, yes. Death day. All right, stand up or sit up, man. Oh. For whosoever shall keep the whole law of Moses and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. I get that part. Right. So now for the next one. For he who said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now, if you commit no adultery, yet if you kill, you are become a transgressor of the law. Which means the breaking of even one commandment puts the person in the position of a transgressor. All right, here's where I would like to have a, a what? A dictionary to tell me what a transgressor is. Yet again, you do not want to... Yet again, I don't want to stop the video and look for it, so let's continue. No, I'm talking about mm -hmm. yet again, you don't want to use the software we bought and face cam. One of these days, we're going to learn how to... Ah, you're going to teach me how to I use it. I told you. All I right. deleted it because you don't use it. Oh, you deleted the one you purchased? Yeah. Come on, Max. We can get it back for it. Like if you buy something on the internet or on App Store, you can get it back and you'll have all your stuff back. Wonderful. Get it back, Max, and teach me how to use it. Okay. All right. So when you speak, do what you say. What we say, we ought to do. So if you promise something, then do it. Right. As they, as the people who shall be judged by the law of liberty... This pertains to the coming judgment seat of Christ. The law of liberty. I don't know what that is. All right, 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy, who has shown no mercy. Ouch! You know what that means? You hurt. You go around bullying people, bothering them, hurting them, and then you expect mercy? <laughs> oh, this is a movie I read. Or Open the door for your mother. She locked herself out, please. Okay, it was in a movie I read or watched. Oh, she did it. In a movie I watched. And what happened was, the guy, the bully of the movie, he mm -hmm. was bothering someone. And then when he got caught, he was like, why didn't you do anything? Put your voice on top of the table so I can hear you, son. Uh, Sit up, man. <laughs> but then he said, I didn't do anything when he got caught. Oh, yes. But it was right. on tape, so he got in trouble. Yes. If we withhold mercy here or whatever that is right, we will face the same at the judgment seat of Christ. And mercy rejoices against judgment. This means, this presents the fact that one who shows mercy in this life will have nothing to fear at the judgment seat of Christ. What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he has, what, only two options. <laughs> what does it profit that he has faith and have not works? Hmm? This presents the fact that proper faith will always produce proper works. If you believe there's a God, you will live like there is a God, right? That means you will not bother that God. If you love me, come on. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Is that what it says for Moses? No, that's probably Jesus. I believe it was Jesus. This presents the fact that proper faith will always produce proper works. Can faith save him? Can faith save a person that has no works? Nope. <laughs> this should have been translated, is that faith able to save him? The truth is, God will not recognize that type of faith. This reminds me of the part Jesus said, 
the scriptures talk about me. If you believe in Moses and the prophets, they spoke about me. And yet you do not believe in me. That's painful, huh? Our father Abraham. Hmm. All right, let's talk. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace. Be ye warmed and filled. Filled. Empty gasoline, empty food. Be ye warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? This refers to claimed faith, which blesses no one, simply because it's not true faith. True faith will help the person. It's difficult to help people sometimes, isn't it? In the movie Planet of the Apes, Caesar had a banana. Couldn't he have eaten it all by himself? Yeah. But instead, he did what with it? He fed other ones. He fed the other monkeys with it. Parts. 17. Even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead, being alone. And then in red, what was added onto here, it says, As stated, proper faith will produce proper works. If not, the Holy Spirit says here that it is dead faith. Get the live type of faith. All right, let's see. Wow. <laughs> Another half to go. It's you want to read it? Page and a half. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> I've lost it somewhere. All right, let's go let's back to the top. To the no. <laughs> Start from the very beginning again. All right. I'm leaving. It's too long. All right. Well, it's long for me for now. That's you too. Well, the way I was told about it, where there is God, there is no sin, like in heaven and stuff. No, where he's, that's not true. That's not true. No, he has, he allows sin up there. Oh, where the, sure God's not down here either. Well, he's everywhere. Yeah, so he? there's sin, though, right? But in heaven, he casts. But you not, you not, you not say not in heaven, though. You not say that. Though. You said if there's a God, there's no sin. <laughs> where there is God oh, yeah. in heaven. Oh, no, you Our Father who art in oh, heaven. Oh, now you're included in heaven. Yes, now I'm corrected oh, thanks okay. to your right. input. Because I said God's so, all around, right? So the sin He's here. everywhere. He cannot be anywhere. In uh, heaven, there's no sin. <laughs> so in heaven, He does not allow one sin in. Right, because there should be no sin at all. Right. Well, she won't be in heaven at all. That's His ranch. That's right. No sins so, are allowed in there. That's called heaven. Mm hmm. So it says, for whoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point is guilty of the law. Right. Guilty. Guilty. And if he has no mercy to other people. What's the law? You use the word. No. <laughs> guilty. Guilty. Yes. However, I believe in mercy. You use the word no. You should never forbid to say the word no. You're talking about Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Right. Never use the word no. Be polite. But sometimes being polite, one can be polite and still say no. I shall not be, do you know it, son? I shall not be moved. All right, so tomorrow we continue from 18 to 26. Oh, yes. All right, let's keep. Fixing the bookcase, please. Are you ready? Huh? You were so gung ho a few minutes ago. You were moving, 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 moving. Books, books, books. You don't want to do any more books? God bless you and those that surround you.